confidence is a, is not only a feeling, but it's a mindset. If you're here to learn how you can be a plus size betty and confident, keep watching. What's up, seven? You know you love me, and you can't get enough of me. Oh, wait, it's your girl Marie, and I'm back right now with fucking heat. So, you're a plus size girl, and you want to know how I'm able to be confident. How you see plus size girls on Instagram be so confident and standing their truth and living their truth. I'm here to help you and drop some gems on how to do that. Before I do, though, I need you to go ahead and like this video if you enjoy this type of content. Also, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Over here, we do all things plus size, all things heavy, because if it ain't the heavy way, there's no other way. If you're returning to me, you already know what the fuck's going on. What's up, gang? <laughs> so, yes, let me know um, what confidence means to you in the comment box down below. So, y'all already know the routine. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's get into this video. Before we even get into the topic of confidence, you need to know what confidence is, like the definition of confidence. Confidence is a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own ability and desires. So again, it's about trusting in yourself. It's about um, standing in who you are, no matter what it is. Like just being confident that no matter what anybody say about you to you, directed or deflected, like you know you and you're gonna stand 10 toes down on who you are. So that's pretty much what confidence is. And in this video, I just wanna give you guys at least seven tips on what you can do in order to help build your confidence, help find what confidence looks like for you and how to walk in your true confidence self. The first tip that I can say um, when it comes to being confident, the first tip that I can say when it comes to being confident is take care of yourself, like take care of yourself. But when you do start doing the little things like going to get your eyebrows done or getting your hair done, like you'll notice that it starts to make you feel like Oh, I'm that bitch. Like, it really, it really helps. When, when you look good, it helps you feel good. So taking care of yourself is important. Something as small as just taking a shower. Taking care of yourself is the first tip. If you skip that tip, it's never gonna work. It's, it's just, just stop the video and go back to living your best life. Because it's just not gonna work. Tip two, I would say, is do something with value. What I mean is giving back to your community. Um, helping a family member and you know they're in need. For me, what I do for value is content. Like, I bring my knowledge to the women and young girls on how I'm able to be as proactive in that bitch as I can. Teaching everybody what I already know or what I've been through that helped me learn at an earlier age, you know. Fuck what they think, fuck, fuck how they feel. Once a month, you're just donating food to the homeless. Cool, if that makes you feel good on the inside and you feel like this is my good deed for the day, cause I will be quick to tell myself, oh, that go my good deed, I ain't doing nothing else. Like, cause the world will take advantage of you if you're too nice or if you're too friendly or if you're too eager. Like, I, if you would like for me to make a video about that, please let me know in the comment box below because I have learned from experience. Step three, always take a moment to sit back and acknowledge your achievements, your personal achievements and self-reflection. So for me, what I do is, I am a, I am a journalist. Like I love a good book that allows me to journal. So this book is about my intentions. It allows me to be grateful for what I got done today, but it also allows me to be intentional for what my plans are tomorrow. And actually, as a matter of fact, I'll read y'all what my intentions are for today because I did it yesterday. It says, wake up early, record videos, edit videos, and read. And this is your girl's second video today. So, <laughs> intentions. And then my mom gave me this book a couple years ago, but I was going through a whole lot of other stuff. I really didn't have the energy to do it. But this is also good, just understanding um, your voice, your story, finding your story the way you want to tell it. So. Shout out to Mrs. Obama, because this is very helpful. And I just got this book, and I'm not gonna lie, this book, it really wakes up trauma and things that you don't wanna remember. Um, but I'm learning that when I do remember it and that feeling, it makes me understand why 
it helps everything become full circle. This is a very, very good book. And actually the joke of this book is TikTok made me buy it, but it's actually a very, very dope book to look into. I will put the links in the description box down below. But looking back on your achievements and appreciating where you've came because I have always been the person before now, I was always the type of person where I'm like, okay, I did it. I, hey, I, hey, at least I can say I did it. But I never really sat in it and said, damn, you did it and nobody thought you could. Damn, you thrived in it. And if you want to go back, you have experience now, so you'll be even better than you was first time. So you really have to be your biggest hype man. Like, it's okay to pop your shit. Like, do you not know who you're talking to? A bitch spending here 100K on Instagram. Like, <laughs> you see how they switched real quick? It's okay to pop your shit. But in order to pop your shit, you gotta be able to say where you came from. You gotta be able to say where you started at. I could tell y'all I done been homeless before with a child in a homeless shelter. Like, I have been through the work. So when I look back on my self-reflecting days, I'm like, damn, bitch, like, look at where you at now. Look at all you're doing now. All the money that you see, all the growth that you've made internally. Like, it's just dynamic to really sit back and give yourself a round of a motherfucking applause. Like, make sure you are congratulating yourself before you congratulate somebody else. Number four, do something with your body. Um, exercise, yoga, breathing. Uh, I'm real big on dancing. I love to dance. So if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know. I'll be quick to post some dance videos in a heartbeat. It just gets your blood going and it gets you to realize like, yeah, you're getting older, but you're still capable. Don't let the age or the weight stop you from nothing. It's gonna be a little more challenging to do it, but what is not hard to do? Like, please give me something that's not hard to do. So you, it's just like, you just gotta wanna do it. You gotta wanna do it. It could be something as simple as, hey, I'm just gonna walk up the street today. Nobody knows what you're doing for you but you. But if it makes you feel better, do it, sis. Why not? What else you got to lose? What else you got to lose? Okay, step five. Do not confuse confidence with arrogance. Do not confuse the two. Arrogant is somebody that feels like they cannot learn, they cannot grow, they've reached their peak of where they wanna be. And really, it's all talk. It's all talk. Instead of them wanting to do the work, they rather say, oh yeah, I fixed my problem. When really, like, you was just crying two minutes ago. You ain't fixed shit. <laughs> so you don't want to be that girl where nobody wants to hang out with because you just think you all, oh, you all that. Like, you never know who you're in the room with. You never know who you're talking to. Confidence is good to know who you are, but still be able to take a step back and be like, okay, I could learn something from her to make me better. Or, oh, okay, I, I see how she doing that, but if I do it with my way of doing it, I can make it better. Like, don't ever think you're the brightest in the room. Because if you are, then you're in the wrong room, sis. In order to grow, you gotta change your surroundings and be around people that are where you're trying to be. That's the only way you're gonna be able to see yourself at the top. I gotta quote that. So we're not arrogant, we're confident. There's a difference. Number six, do not compare yourself. Y'all, I swear to God, I'm battling this every day, every fucking day. I am a social media influencer, so numbers is like how how I see things for it to make sense. And I was just on this girl's page and I was like, damn, she got less videos than me, but more subscribers. What the fuck am I doing wrong? I had to take a minute and say, no, 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 no. We just need to work harder. We just need to do this better. Don't compare yourself. Don't compare yourself. Because shit ain't always what it look like. I'ma just put it to you like that. It's not always what it looks like. And Instagram will have you in a rabbit hole. Instagram will have you in a rabbit hole thinking that everybody's doing better than you. And really they probably suffering. Or their life is probably worse than they're showcasing. Who wants to show the world that they're failing? <laughs> so never compare. Just look at it. As always, my saying to myself is half, my cup is half full, not half empty. Let me say it to you again. My cup is half full, not half empty. You have to choose the way you wanna see things. And then my final step is take action. 
all of these tips that I gave you today, you have to do them in order for it to work. Like, you have to do them in order for it to work. You have to do them. So, just to go back over some of the tips. Tip one is take care of yourself. Tip two is do something of value or purpose for you. Step three is make sure you're looking into your growth and your reflections. Step four is exercise, do something with your body. Step five is we're confident, not arrogant. Step six is do not compare. Step seven is it's a mindset. And then step eight is take action. Make sure you're taking action, okay? So affirmations is also a great way to start. But if you guys would like for me to do a part two of this video, let me know in the comment box down below. I hope this helps. And baby, look in the mirror, cause you that bitch. And if you don't wear them curves, who the fuck will? Until next time, curvy cutie. Peace. Play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it.